Fiesta, and welcome back to the 125th running of the Battle of Flowers Parade here in downtown San Antonio. It is a picture-perfect spring day here in South Texas. Thanks so much for joining us right here on air on KSAT and online at KSAT.com. We're being seen around the country and around the world right now. If you are homesick for San Antonio, we're glad you're with us. We sure are. And remember, you can always share your feedback with us on our KSAT Facebook page. So please do that if you want to. And you mentioned it's a beautiful day, perfect day for a parade. Yes, it is. But it's also really sunny out there. So we see a lot of people who are in the middle of the sun who did not bring a hat. Hopefully they brought sunscreen because I have a feeling we're going to see some red cheeks tomorrow. No doubt about it. So, you know, kind of like a football game or a basketball game, they take TV timeouts. We took a little TV timeout. And now we're about to get things going. Now, they have their big parade on Monday night. And, of course, we're talking about the men in blue and we're talking about the texas cavaliers their marching unit and there's a whole bunch of them oh boy and didn't they luck out because we had that horrible weather but it stopped just in time for them yeah the skies parted just in time for the texas cavaliers river parade on monday night they are a nonprofit civic organization fund founded in 1926 to honor the memory of the heroes who fell at the alamo and to keep alive san antonio's vital contributions to our glorious texas history Cavaliers organization comprised of 607 area businessmen and community leaders whose honor, who rather honor those traditions and participate in various activities throughout the year. Each year since 1941, the Cavaliers volunteer their time to produce the Texas Cavalier River Parade that we were talking about for the pleasure of the entire community, but it's also to raise money for children's charities around our community. Texas Cavalier Charitable Foundation was founded in 1989. Since it has contributed over $3.5 million to area children's charities. And Mark, get this. This year, King Antonio the 94th will distribute over $500,000 to local children in need. Good guys. They have participated in this parade for not 10, not 20. Not 50. Not 50. 80 years these guys have been out here in those uniforms. You that, can't miss them. That is a very rich tradition for our city, and we love it. We love those blue jackets and the hats and those maroon ties that they wear. And we were just told they donated $250,000 to KIPP San Antonio. Those are charter schools around the Alamo City area. So glad you're with us, folks. Again, you're watching the Battle of Flowers Parade live. Uh, last couple of years, we've been down on Broadway, but this year we have a prime parking spot right in front of the Alamo here in Alamo Plaza. As we were talking about the weather, there are folks fanning themselves in the direct sunlight, but these are very nice breeze. Do you feel breeze. a little guilty that we actually have a big tarp over us? A little bit, a little no, bit. No, I don't at all. Hey, this is the Texas Cavaliers as well on this tram. They're yeah. the Texas Cavaliers Distinguished Service Members. It's a 1972 red Starliner tram and the owner is Paul Dixon and there he is King Antonio the 94th that is Mr. Hunt Winton the third. Hunt Winton the third King Antonio 94 will distribute more than five hundred and forty thousand dollars to area children's charities during this fiesta and the Cavaliers by the way were named the outstanding service organization by the San Antonio chapter of fundraising professionals and King Antonio is going to be very busy Mark he's going to make over 150 stops this fiesta. That carriage has been used for over 65 years. It was donated by George Friedrich, which is uh, King Antonio the 23rd. And following him, the Texas Cavaliers mounted platoon, which you will see momentarily as he's waving to the crowd. Everybody's like, uh oh, don't stop so short. <laughs> Those, the horses don't stop on a dive, do they? He forgot about the flowers. Oh, there we go. So That's they right. had to stop for the flowers. And handing off once again to the young men of San Antonio Academy as they carry them onto the grounds of the sacred shrine of the Alamo. Such a lovely tradition. It's a great setting, isn't it? It's picture perfect, as you said a moment ago, and the weather cooperating so well with us. If you're just tuning in, everything looks so green this year. We have had a lot of rain. Okay, now to the Texas Cavaliers mounted balloon. Now they're L following platoon. Platoon. They're yeah. following King Antonio as they have for 29 years. It's the honor guard, the Cavalier mounted platoon. They try to perpetuate and honor the place of the horse and equestrianism in our Texas history. I didn't even know that was a word. Well, guess what it is. We learn something new every day. From the organization's founding in 1926 until 1940, Mountain Cavalier, Mountain Cavaliers were regular participants in this parade. In 1985, uh, Cavaliers revived the tradition with the creation of the Mounted Platoon. It served as King Antonio's honor guard ever since. I love watching them. It's amazing when you watch these guys who ride horses all the time because they do it with such poise 
If I was on a horse, it would not be as pretty. Now, Ursula, on the other hand, of course, knows what she's doing. Yes, yeah, she does. Not she's, so much for me. she's an expert. We are mere amateurs. And observers today, right behind them, Super Scoopers from IUSA, acronym for Academic Year in the USA. Let's check in with Mike. Yeah, so you have probably the most important job in the parade. How do you feel about that? It's nice. I mean, I like horses. <laughs> Good thing you do. So where do you go to school? Um, uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt? Yeah. Fantastic. And you're going to be following these horses the whole time, so you get, get to know yeah. them very well, don't you? Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Good job. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, and we're really appreciative to them. And there you see coming up behind the Super Scoopers, Traditional American Indian Society Honor Guard. The group today is composed of 50 American Indian military veterans, 2015 City of San Antonio's 4th of July Honor Guard. Now, they host the American Indian Art Show and Auction at Travis Park, and they participate in the Bandera Pow Wow as well. They've also served as the State of Texas American Indian Heritage Today Honor Guard, and participated in the Gourd Dance. And as we take a look at their wonderful Addresses. Indian yeah. The flags actually represent American flag, Texas, Oklahoma state flags, POW, MIA, armed services, and a lot of Indian national flags. All right, who are these people? I think I recognize that big giant balloon, and I recognize the banner, and some of the people carrying it. Of course, this is KSAT 12. We're so honored to be part of Fiesta, honored to be part of the parade again this year. The balloon being handled by KSAT 12 community volunteers, and Mike is down there with them. Go ahead, Mike. I think he can't well, hear it's us. Been honor, sir. Had a blast doing it. Had a blast being in the parade, hearing the music and everything. That's fantastic. And you've got the Burbank High School band right behind you, so that's good inspiration, right? Yes, sir. All right, enjoy it. This is my way of participating for the company now, guys. I think it's your way of getting under the balloon and getting a little shade. But there you hear him, the Burbank Bulldog Band of Luther Burbank High School. telling you about these high school bands and referring back to the Battle of the Bands last night at Alamo Stadium. The band you're seeing right now, the Luther Burbank High School Band, came in first place last night in Division 5A at the Battle of the Bands. They you are actually, weren't you in marching band? I was. And so you know how tough this is to it's, do this in unison. It's, it's, a, it's a tough job. And I marched in Virginia where it goes up to 3A, 5A here, of course, in Texas. Uh, exactly. And to make to get first place in it's very impressive. Now, they'll be going to D.C. and made a march on the National Memorial Day Parade. How about that? Well, that's really impressive. 135 members taking part. They had 10 flags. We just showed you the flags just a moment ago. And... I think wow. this is part of our recycle crew that's out there. Those are the yellow bags that Mike had a little bit earlier on. By the way, we were talking about the Burbank Bang. They are 135 members strong. Their drum major is Isabel Mesa. And they are very talented. All right, now we want to talk to the mayor of San Antonio. Mike Osterhage has just found the mayor, Honorable Ivy Taylor. And good afternoon, Mayor. How are you today? Wonderful. Isn't this weather beautiful? It is absolutely gorgeous. And I want to tell you, just before we went on the air with the mayor, what did you do, ma'am? Showed your shoes. Let's see them. Showed my shoes. <laughs> it looks like they match your flowers. Was that intentional? They sure, yes. Yes, it certainly is. And who is next to you right here, this lovely young lady? My daughter, Morgan. <laughs> you having a good time, Morgan? Yes. Is this your first parade to be in it? Mm, no. <laughs> you're, you're an old pro, aren't you? Well, I, what's your reaction to the parade, ma'am? Oh, it's just so wonderful for San Antonians to come out, celebrate our history and culture and heritage, and just love each other. Ma'am, here's a KSAT 12 pin for you. Enjoy. Viva Fiesta. Thank you, Mike. The Honorable Mayor Ivy Taylor, the first black mayor of San Antonio, the only black female mayor of a city over a population of over one million people. She's got an impressive resume. She's a graduate of Yale University, a master's degree from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And originally from Queens, New York, but she was interning in San Antonio when she met the man who became her husband. It's a love story, everybody. She was first elected city council here back in 2009, appointed to serve as interim mayor in 2014, and elected as mayor of San Antonio in 2015. She's a wife and mother 
of the 12 year old we just met there on the car morgan that was hilarious mike says your first parade she looked no. at him like uh no not at all next up we are checking in with a group from saint david's episcopal school this is the uh, carriage and wagon the title of it roy orbison they've been participating in the battle of flowers parade for 23 years they were established back in 1954 serving children 16 months through kindergarten they've got the bebop looking from the uh, going from the roy orbison days a whole bunch of kids from uh, from the kindergarten students riding in the parade. All right, now we have the Air and Education, Air Education and Training Command, United States Air Force. Lieutenant General Daryl Robertson and his wife Cheryl. Air Education Training Command, United States Air Force, was formed in 1942 as the Army Air Corps Flying Training Command with headquarters in DC. Less than a year later, they moved to Fort Worth. And during World War II, the command provided technical and flying training for more than 600 installations, factories, and institutions of higher learning. They moved to Randolph in 1957 to represent the command's growing mission education, training, and recruiting. It was redesignated the Air Education Training Command in 1993. And there you see Lieutenant General Robertson handing over the flowers. And right behind him, U.S. Army North 323rd Army Band. They were initially constituted back in 1944 at the Carlisle Barracks, Pennsylvania, activated six days later on January 21st to serve as the Medical Field Service School Band. And then they were redesignated as the 323rd Army Services Forces Band in March 1st of 1944. There are 20 participants with three to four flags. Let's listen. Okay, again, that was Fort Sam's own 323rd Army Band from the U.S. Army North. Good to see them out there. They are Army strong. Now it's time to talk royalty. Her Gracious Majesty, Caroline Cage Carrington, Queen of the Court of Grecian Glory. The coronation of the Queen of the Order of the Alamo was actually held this past Wednesday at the Majestic Theater. The theme for this year's coronation is the Court of Grecian Glory. It celebrates and honors the birthplace of Western civilization. Each duchess and princess and queen represent a unique aspect of life in Greece. Now take a look. We love the trains, yes, right? Yes, we do. It's white, white velvet in the background for the Queen's train with the seal of the Order of the Alamo embellished with gold beads. The center bears the evil eye in shades of blue and the Queen's monogram is beaded in various shades of of gold. Now the queen actually represents the daughter of Zeus, Athena, and the goddess of wisdom, courage, inspiration, arts, crafts, and skill. And Caroline is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Next up, Highlands High School, Mighty Alban. Let's listen in to them. And as you're seeing on your screen, the Highlands High School Mighty Al Bound, they are going to Disney World in June of this year, and they will march in a parade there. That's pretty impressive. Isn't that where everybody wants to go? It's the happiest place on earth. It is. 85 members strong. Their drum major is senior Johnny Patrick. And now we, more royalty. Her Royal Highness Morgan and McClellan, Princess of Hellenic Grandeur. Splendor, Splendor. Princess of Hellenic Splendor. The princess represents the Aegean Sea. For Greece, the land and the sea are one intertwined for eternity. Now, the princess train's border is thick coral Swarovski crystals representing the Mediterranean Sea surrounding Greece. The background of the train is navy blue velvet, which of course represents the waters. The intricacy and the work that goes into these trains, it's just mind-blowing. If you've never seen a Battle of Flowers Parade, this is one of the key features, is the royalty, these intricate gowns, but also the ritual people yelling, show us your shoes. Show us your shoes. She's got her cowboy boots on. And usually on. they do have boots on that are pretty fancy and fabulous. And you notice that the trains are actually not attached to them because they weigh about 70 pounds. Yeah, exactly. But uh, they are amazing. And you were saying earlier uh, that some of these gowns, uh, the trains alone cost upwards of oh, they're, uh, 70. Yes, they're multiple thousands and thousands of dollars and one more thing about the train it's a greek key beaded in white representing the signature pattern in greek culture morgan by the way is the daughter of mr and mrs albert kirk mcclellan we are going to take a break live coverage continues of the 2016 battle of flowers parade right here on ksat 12. stay with us everybody